Welcome back, guys. We are nearing the end of Gods Will Be Watching. The story's about to get really weird, which, um... You might have seen previewed a little from Chapter 5. But let's jump straight into it. YOLO, as they say. There's our suicide mission to save the world. Play dog. It's Marvin right there. Here's Liam. Tons of soda. That seems like how, um... Uh, people use computers. Things haven't changed a few hundred years in the future. I was a fool to believe. To even dare to assume that the Constellar Federation would accept the terms. When we just gave them an excuse to create even more propaganda for their military and gain support against terrorism. But this has settled it for us. We'll never attain a free world unless we can claim it by force. If we, humans, are the element that makes it impossible to have a free world, then we will remove ourselves from the equation. Gactus 7 will be the cradle of this new era. Damn, Liam just sounds insane now. This is straight up, um... Yeah, I don't know. Whatevs. If the Constellar Federation doesn't respect life, we'll give life a fortress, time, weapons, and a chance to evolve. If peace is impossible, then we'll level the playing field and give the Constellar Federation a real war. Gactus 7 is just the beginning. Xenolifer, prepare to be hunted. Because we're about to become humanity's most dangerous enemy. Damn. It's strange. I always become aware of my penance when I'm stuck inside this tomb. Such clarity. To be certain of my own continuity. These final brief moments of enlightenment. All of this is just a perceived reality, enacted over and over again. Only the stars bear witness to this perpetual anomaly. It feels like I've already made all of these decisions before. And yet none of them, all at the same time. Always with a single hope. That the end of this will lead me away from that white sand. Cutscene. The hull has been damaged. We're losing oxygen. The antidote has been sealed by the computer. Everyone, don't forget your passwords. Doesn't matter anyway, Dactus 7 will be doomed in a few hours. The hell is happening? The Federation must have made their move. No. This is burden. I can feel it. The escape pods are prepped for evac. Everyone get ready. Nobody move. Everyone stay where you are. We don't have much time, so I'll be clear. Give me the antidote, or I'm going to make you wish you had. You're wasting your time, Abraham. You know us. You know we're willing to die for this. I've been Xenolifer, and that's how I know that I can make Wouter here talk with just two swift kicks. And I know by looking at Claire and Frank that they'll miss this little brat if something were to happen to him. And I know that this old man cares more about the people in this room than he does about himself. Hell, even you have your points of leverage, Shaman. So tell me, 
Should I start pushing buttons? Son of a bitch. Sir, I've already assessed the current situation. This is Brandon here. Don't worry, they can't hear me. Here, I'll project some useful data on the lab's window. Again, only you'll be able to see this through the synaptic connectors of your suit. Sir, this room is losing oxygen. You can survive in space, but they won't. You have to get their passwords before oxygen depletion reaches zero. If you kill or free someone, extra oxygen will become available for everyone. Also, I calculated how many people will die on Gactus 7 as the situation aboard the Matriarch progresses. You can see the number there. Looks big, but it'll descend quickly. Sir, I scanned all immediate crew members through my empathic devices. You can now track their morale. If someone's willpower reaches 0%, they'll inevitably confess. But be aware of the rebellion counter. You'll lose control of the situation if it surpasses 100%. God's damn, Brandon, you're useful. Quiet, Burden. Remember, they can hear you, sir. Huh? So, here we are. I've played this scenario once before, and essentially I just guessed and had no idea what I was doing just kept doing things until it finally worked. So I suppose we do the same thing this time and uh, hopefully see if we can actually make some sense of it too. So um, like Brandon said, we've got our casualty count here. The faster we um, finish this slower where that count is going to be. Oxygen remaining, everyone's willpower, and rebellion O meter. So we can uh, shoot air, remember passwords, which we don't have any passwords yet. And we also have actions for each character, like Ford here. Persuade, hit, threaten, execute, offer freedom, and free. Same thing for Wouter here, for Claire, Frank, and Shaman. We can't persuade Eddie, who, um, as Burton said, is Claire and Frank's kid. But we can still try to use him for leverage. So this is another one of those um, extremely morally questionable situations. But uh, whatever, right? We can do it. So Burton said he knows uh, Wouter will confess with just a few kicks, so we could do that. Start hitting the guy and see if this works or not. Rebellion goes up a bit, but um, looks like everyone's getting a little spooked. Gonna hit the dude some more and watch everyone's willpower here. Looks like it's all dropping. Maybe I can threaten the guy? Someone tell me a password or I'll pull the trigger. I don't want to kill him, I'm gonna say forgive. Oh, well, I lose. Let's try that again. Okay, this time we'll be different. I won't fail. You'd better confess quickly. Huh? So that is um, where the story gets weird, essentially. The reason um, we see the cut to the desert this is my interpretation, at least, but uh, you guys tell me if it makes sense or if I'm just blowing smoke, so to speak, is um, whenever Burden dies or fails, he gets transported back to the desert. And um, at the beginning of 
chapter 5, in that sort of intro sequence, people were saying he had a 32% chance, was it, of surviving the impact with the ship? So my interpretation is that um, he dies there, and that's why we play through the desert, and why we just saw that cutscene at the beginning of this episode with uh, going through the other chapters. So it's like, um, we play through the desert, then fast forwards through the rest, and now we're here again. And each time we um, failed a mission before, that was Burden getting to the desert, fast forwarding through that, the previous missions, and going back to We Are. So it's like he's just stuck in this infinite loop. And, um... Yeah, I guess that's my interpretation of the story. Like, stuck in... Purgatory, essentially. He was looking up... Catholic doctrine on, um... Wikipedia for this. Because I'll confess, I... Don't know it very well at all. But the whole thing there was, if you are... Not so... Evil as to make it to hell, but at the same time not pure-hearted to get to heaven. You have that whole process of purification they do. And I get the impression that's just what Burden is going through, because he has got very far from a clear conscience. And the stuff like um, all those dead party members glitching out at the beginning of Chapter 5, that's because in the real world, so to speak, which I don't believe we ever see in the game, they all survived. So that is the memory that Burden has of what was really supposed to happen. Maybe? I don't know. Well, you guys let me know if that makes sense. Or, if it doesn't, let's give this another shot. going to, um, beat up on Wouter again. Why not? I hope that's how you pronounce that name. Yeah, that really drops his willpower. So let's just keep doing that for a bit until Rebellion gets too high. Hit him once more. I'll offer his freedom. If someone tells me a code, I'll free Wouter. No one, is this how you want to play this? Guess I'll hit him some more. Okay, that's not changing anything at this point. I could shoot the Medusia virus also, get it into the air. Maybe I'll try to, uh, persuade Ford? I don't know. Mr. Ford, I respect you fondly. I know how you respect life over all things. So I'll ask you a simple question. Why? For that exact reason, Abraham. Life. For all the life that won't exist because of humanity. Humankind has become so powerful that no force of nature can push us back at this point. People like Xenolifer are needed to stop the mindless destruction which comes with greed and ambition. But this is too extreme. If the ones who fight for justice and freedom do this, if we get rid of our values, what kind of future will we be able to build? The Constellar Federation has killed billions upon billions of humans without cause, just for the sake of conquest. And here you are fighting for them, again. So don't tell me about values, Abraham. Man, oxygen's really low. I'll try, um... Threatening Ford, maybe? Again, I have no idea at all what I'm doing. Someone tell me the password, or I'll pull the trigger. I guess Rebellion goes up if I forgive him. But if I scare everyone, it's fine. So I push Execute? 
sorry, Ford, you're like my favorite character here, probably. Yeah, that drops Rebellion. And we get Oxygen back. Now I can try to offer Louder's freedom. Someone tells me a code, I'll free Louder. I'll confess, set me free, please. First code is Blizzard. Great, thank you. I'll free him. You get into an escape pod now. Phew, got away. If I do remember passwords, there it is. Blizzard. So what's the plan now? Could try talking to someone else. Or hitting someone else. I don't like that look on Frank's face. Yeah, that gets Claire pretty worried. Gonna beat him up some more. Maybe threaten him? Someone tell me a password, or I'll pull the trigger. There it goes. Now I can offer Claire's freedom, maybe? Someone tells me a code, I'll free Claire. Maybe I can offer Eddie's freedom. Someone tells me a code, I'll free Eddie. Okay, I'll do it, but let him code. The second... But let him go. The second code is... Rauk Ars. Great, thank you. I'll free him. You get it to an escape pod now. Mama. Hey, he's probably a bit shaken up with his dad being dead there. Maybe I can persuade Shaman from here? Please, Shaman, I'm begging you. If you do this, Xenolifer will be hunted down and destroyed. All of this will be for nothing. If you stop this nonsense, I... I'll join Xenolifer and your cause, this time with no ulterior motives. I'll help you abolish slavery in all corners of this universe. And we'll do it by means we can be proud of. We can be remembered as heroes, not murderers, Shaman. I don't fucking care anymore. I don't want to be remembered. I don't give a fuck about legends. You may enjoy that status. I'm sure that metal on your chest will allow you to sleep well at night. But I'm not fighting for a plaque with my name on it. Let Xenolifer fall if that achieves a free world. At least let us have one damn world in the universe in which we can be free, Abraham. That drops his rebellion a tiny bit. Maybe I can offer Claire's freedom? Someone tells me a code, I'll free Claire. No one. I'll just go ahead and free her. Get more oxygen. And maybe Shaman will like that? Or would it be better to try to scare him? I oh, know, he doesn't really scare easily though. I would think. Yeah, I'll hit free. So, get her to a pod. Edward. Does that do anything? Yeah, it makes him um, more willing to talk. And now rebellion is 0%. Let's try to persuade him some more. So, you're resorting to the same methods as your enemies. What's the point of fighting for freedom and life, then? What kind of peace do you plan to achieve through this massacre? I could be asking myself that. Please, Abraham, 
You know better than anybody that we have exhausted all other possibilities. Abolishing slavery will destroy humanity's way of life. That's why they won't ever give up. The Constellar Federation built an empire on oppression and violence. And it has to fall, whatever the cost. Whatever the cost, we're talking about four billion lives. Then so be it. I'm fighting for 10,000 times that amount of lives. And I'm not talking about the mercy of a quick death. I'm talking about millions of lives played out in a perpetual suffering. Well, his willpower is going down from talking to him, so that's probably the best route to take. Could also shoot the Medusia and see what happens. Nah, I'll play it safe. And just keep doing what we know works. Persuade? Shaman, this is not the way. I respect Xenolifer. I really do. But I can't let you do this. There's still hope for you. Abandon this nonsense and return to your path. Our path? What could you possibly know about our path? We're doing this because you left us no other choice. The Constellar Federation didn't hesitate in exterminating the alien races that resisted slavery. My family. For humans, killing aliens is just cleansing, not genocide. He's related to aliens? What? I probably misinterpreted that. Well, let's uh, keep trying that persuade. Maybe? Even if you create a world free of humans, what do you think comes next? Do you think the Constellar Federation will let you have that? They'll blow up the entire planet before letting you win. Damn it, Abraham. We'll fight back. I'm sure Liam will come up with a solution. He always does. I respect Liam as much as you do, but he's just a man. Yeah, that was a big one. Or big drop in willpower there. Can offer his freedom, I guess. He's getting pretty low on willpower. Someone tells me a code, I'll freeze Shaman. No one. Let's try again. No more persuasion. Guess I only have uh, these options now. Obviously, I don't want to push execute. I'll try threat. Someone tell me a password or I'll pull the trigger. I don't want to execute him, of course. That raises rebellion, but drops willpower. I'll try offer freedom again. Guess not. I'll try threat. Forgive. Now I'll try again. And I'll try threat. Man, he really doesn't want to talk. Please stop. The last code is... Opmahoon. Great. Thank you. I'll let him go. There he is saying something in alien speak. Maybe he is an alien? Maybe? You can't tell with the pixel art. Maybe that explains the... what I thought was a mask. What's he saying? Ugin blee er... Surbe. Well, I don't have the whole code. But it goes blizzard, rock, something, off Mahoon. Hopefully I can guess. So, blizzard, rock... Let's go Aldazad. That was the name of the, um... Whatchamadude. Holistic baseball player, wasn't it? 
that Irving was talking about. Wrong access code, two attempts remaining. Okay. Now I'm gonna push remember once more, I want to uh, write this down. So it goes blizzard, rock, something, up. And we tried Aldous Atten already. Alright. That. Karakuen is the last one, but I think you can have repeats here. No, that's it. Good work, sir. Now let's send the antidote to Gactus 7. Oh, damn. Oh, cool. Got an achievement there. Not letting oxygen drop too low. Most people killed Shaman. Not a lot of people killed Ford. Oops. Not many people freed Shaman either. Mostly freed dudes and went neutral. Cool. Most people did persuade as their biggest action. Alright, well that uh, didn't take much time at all, so let's go ahead and do chapter 7 as well. Nemesis. Liam is here. It's great to finally see your true colors, Burden. It's a pity we have to destroy everything to be able to open up to each other. Did you truly think you were able to stop Xenolifer? I'm not here to destroy you. I'm here to save Xenolifer. I respect your cause, idiot. I want to help you. I'm sick of seeing the one who could lead humanity to a better era become corrupted again and again by frustration. And yet, I always return to stop you. What are you talking about? Yep, here's our whole looping time cycle bullshit going on. I've had this discussion with you a million times now. I don't know why I keep dreaming I'll convince you, but I must try, hoping that one of my travels sets you on the right track. Have you lost your mind, Burden? Probably. So I'll appeal to you the only way that has ever worked. Fight me, Liam. I'll beat some reason into that twisted head of yours. This is it, Burden. You can't win this, Liam. And now we have a bunch of fight moves. Hmm. So I don't remember how this works either, other than you have to, like, um memorize which action you have to respond to, to each animation he does. So, I will start by, um, getting some dice. And I'll roll them to see what to do for my first action, because, uh, hey, why not? That makes enough sense, right? Let's roll this bad boy. Alright, rolling time. Full dweep mode. This is how you make decisions in life. Pushing punch. I'm back. Yeah, so we just played through the whole game again there. Blink of an eye. It's a terrible fate to wait seven long years to fight you one last time. Damn, I guess that's how long the whole story takes. Man, Burden's been going for a while, then. Yet my victory is inevitable. Did the impact drive you crazy? This is it, Burden. Give up already. So I can't block that. It's either duck or jump back. Gonna duck. Okay, that works. So I'm gonna write that down. Blue fist. 
equals duck. You can't sacrifice something that is not yours. This is just murder. This is war. I don't care what you call it. The only thing that matters is what we'll achieve. What you're achieving is based on a... What you're achieving is change based on oppression. Even if you succeed, you're just becoming the next Constellar Federation. You can't force change onto people. You have to show them why the world would be better if we gave freedom to everybody. Huh, and I thought I was the dreamer. People, that's the real problem. The Constellar Federation may have conquered those worlds, but it's the people who enslaved them. You know better than anybody that we have exhausted all of the other options. The next step is to destroy or desist. And I won't surrender to a human-dominated world. Witness the power of my Xeno suit. Huh, <laughs> that's a very anime line there. I don't want to kill you. Okay. So he's got his arms positioned in boxing mode there. I'll push punch, maybe? Okay. That does it. Now Red Fist is what's going on. Huh. Well, blue was duck. I could try that again. Nope. That's a good way to die. You can't win, Liam. I keep learning your moves every time I come back. Every time you what? Shut up and get ready, Liam. This is it. This is probably, uh... Yeah. One of these Liams is supposed to be Burden. So, small mistake there. This is it, Burden. I can read your moves. Duck. You may perceive the annihilation of Gactus 7 as a demonstration of power, but this is just weakness, Liam. And you succumb to it, the path of least resistance. No, this wasn't some simple decision, Burden. The things I did. I looked to you for true inspiration for what I had to do, for this path. Yeah, I guess Path of Least Resistance was what I did Chapter 4, too, with just, uh, murdering a bunch of dudes. And what I just did Chapter 6, too, I suppose. Your eternal discourse about sacrifice, the greater good, you called it. Think about the size of the universe. Consider not only the known alien races enslaved by the Constellar Federation, I'm talking about the expansion of the greatest evil life has ever known in this sector of the universe. If Xenolifer doesn't succeed, all life in the galaxy is at risk. All forms of life, even those that are still evolving, could come to an end, could never have a chance. But... You know I'm right, Burden. This combination was inspired by the Opmahoon technique. You can't kill me. Okay, so boxing stance is when we punch. Now arm forward. Let's try punch again. Nope. That's a kick. So I guess we block. Yeah. Same position again. Block. He blocks too. Yellow. This one I actually remember. I think you have to faint here. Yeah, because he raises up that shield, and if you punch it, then you just get disintegrated. So, yellow equals faint. Writing that down. I believed in you. After all these years of meaningless fighting, you could have been the key to true change. But you always end up being the start of a new war. It's funny to hear you talk about betrayal. Next time you should try sticking to your convictions when joining Xenolifer if you want to bring real change. You hide behind duty, but you killed politicians and blew federal starships to pieces, all in the name of Xenolifer. It was my mission. Ha. Huh. The day you get rid of that stupid military code is the day you'll be truly free, my friend. But you can do that in your next life, because this one will end with me. Back off. 
You can't escape me. This is where I block. You can't kill me. Stop it, Liam. Give up already. You can't win this, Liam. This is a new one. Arm down. Well, let's err on the side of punching. Nope. Okay, that one I think I have to jump back for. You know, it kind of makes me sad you never remember our fights. I hope that beating you changes something. Stop doddering. This is the first time you fought me. And the last. This is it, Burden. Stop it, Liam. Duck. You may perceive the Annihilation of Act 7 as a demonstration of power, if this is just weakness. Yeah, we've heard this one. If you look to us. Block. I won't let you cross this line. Give up already. You can't win this, Liam. So arm down, we just said was jump back. Yep, that works. Writing it down. You can't kill me. We block here. For yellow, we faint. You once said to me that no revolution came without blood. Then this is the perfect move, don't you see it, Burden? Four billion lives. That's way more than blood. You taught me to never surrender. You taught me the true meaning of sacrifice. If we're talking about the future of the universe, sacrificing Dactus 7 isn't different than killing a hostage. Liam. This is it, Burden. This is what we've been seeking all this time. I'm not scared of the Constellar Federation. If you join us again, I can't. Try surviving this. I won't let you cross this line. Can't win this, Liam. We need to get back on track, Liam. With a punch to the face. Bam! Can't escape me. So for blue, we duck. Damn it, I won't let anyone stop me from ending slavery. Not even you. I seek freedom as much as you. But this is not the way. Starting a war against the Constellar Federation is suicide. No, I can win this. I can, Burden. Let me win this. You're the expert in suicide missions. Don't you trust my power? Of course I do. You can change everything, Liam. But I can't let you lead the universe to ruin. This is gonna kill you. I don't wanna kill you. Okay, so if we're armed down like that, we jump back. Arm down again, so we jump back again. And once again. Stop it, Liam. Punch. Can't win this, Liam. I was badass. So arm forward, we block. Blue fist, we um, duck. Can't escape me. Okay, a red killed us before. That was the, um, shooting us. We tried ducking, I believe. And that didn't work. Jump back obviously won't work. I think punch is the only option. Yeah. Writing that down. Red equals punch. Yellow is faint. How? How can you be so sure of this? What makes you think you're right? I'm just doing what any other living being would do in this life. Fight for what I believe is right. But how can 100 rebels be right over the beliefs of millions upon millions of humans around the universe? Because they don't believe in anything. They're not fighting. They're just living the life the Constellar Federation granted them. When we put their lifestyle in jeopardy, they'll start asking themselves questions. And Xenolifer will achieve that today. So, 4 billion lives is just a way to send a question. It's the beginning of the end, Burden. Try surviving this. 
Can't escape me. He blocked. Can't kill me. Won't let you cross this line. BAM! Punch. For blue, we duck. Wasn't Everdusk a neutral organization? Why do they want to defend the Constellar Federation so badly? They don't. We originally infiltrated Xenolifer to see if we could redirect our cause to something good. We saw you as the ace up our sleeve that can finally weaken the dominance of the Constellar Federation. But we can't allow genocide. I can't let you do this, Liam. Bullshit. This combination was inspired by the Opmahoon technique. Again. Yep. That punch is what I think of your combination. Block. Block. I can read your moves. We sure can. I think that block looks the same as when he's about to kick, though, which makes some awkward moments. Faint or yellow. You can't sacrifice something that's not yours. It's just murder, this is war. I don't care what you call it. The only thing that matters is what we'll achieve. Oh, we've read this one, but... What you're achieving is change based on oppression. If you succeed, you're just becoming the next Constellar Federation. Can't force change onto people. You have to show them why the world would be better if we gave freedom to everyone. Huh, and I thought I was the dreamer. People, that's the real problem. The Constellar Federation may have conquered those worlds, but it's the people who enslaved them. You know better than anybody that we have exhausted all the other options. The next step is to destroy or desist. And I won't surrender to a human-dominated world. Let's dance. Stop it, Liam. This is where I punch. Damn. Guess that's it. Silence. You really deserve the title of legend. How did you... You're a far better warrior than me, Liam. I just won because I fought you a million times before. And this is the first time I ever beat you. You keep saying things like that, but I don't get what you mean. I don't get it either. But every time I die, I keep waking up in a desert. And never remember anything. The only moment I remember who I truly am is here. In outer space. And I wonder... Why do I keep chasing you every fucking time, Liam? So here's another tidbit to support my whole, um... Purgatory theory. Maybe this one's a bit of a stretch, but it makes sense in my head. Burden is all, um... Filled with understanding when he's in space. And another term for space is the heavens. Right? Right? Maybe? I don't know. That might be a stretch. But, um... No, games are fun when there's a bunch of room for interpretation. Is this the design of the gods? Is this their notion of a joke? Burden. I hoped that if I beat you, if I saved this wicked world at least one time, I'd finally understand the meaning of it all. But I don't fucking get it. What else do you all want from me, huh? Fuck you. Abraham. I don't know what you're talking about. But if you've truly fought me a million times, then you face this moral dilemma a million times more than I have. And given the fact that you'll always stop me, no matter what, choose. Decide your fate for the first time in the millions of lives you've lived. Is my cause so wrong? Is saving Gactus 7 worth perpetuating the power of the Constellar Federation? Or should we give a fair chance to the rest of the lives you're relinquishing every time you stop me? You know, I don't really care. I'm tired of everyone looking to me every time a tough decision rears its head. But I'll do it. This is my last offering to mankind. And here we choose. Do 
we let them die or not? Huh. No, I'm not convinced it would achieve anything to let them die, despite what Liam says. I'm going ever dusk. Goodbye, Liam. Take care of the world I'm leaving. I meant it when I said I believed in you. Roll credits. Maybe the whole purgatory thing is a stretch and this is supposed to be reality. I don't know. Again, lots of room for interpretation. Uh, very fun twist. I like that. I've been overusing that I like that phrase lately. Sort of zooming out with uh, burden flying off into space there. Sure is some, um, cool stuff. Well, we stopped Xenolifer. So, um, that's good. Is it? Got some asteroids here. YOLO, we don't care about asteroids. So how many times did we die? We failed in chapter 2 and in chapter 4 and was it once or twice in chapter 6? I think just once. Then in fighting Liam had once at the beginning there. Twice, maybe? Yeah, so I think that was... five... deaths total over this playthrough. Unless I'm miscounting, which is very possible. So going by Burden's seven years to fight you again estimate, that's been... 35 years of looping through all this bullshit. So, um... Yeah. It's been a while. First playthrough he was going through for over a century, I believe. Took me like five, six times just to beat the uh, first chapter. Hey, no problem. With uh, thanking me for playing. It was fun. I like the game. I'm not certain if I'd call it, like... Your A plus 10 out of 10 game. But... 
It's um, probably one of my favorite games I played this year. If not my favorite game I played this year. Epilogue, Broken Hourglass. Here we are on Legan once again. So the cycle didn't break. That's one of my arguments against um, people who say that the game isn't a sort of purgatory thing, but that in the real world, so to speak, Burton actually is living and reliving and getting the timeline reset because you'd think if um, the titular gods did say create him to stop Xenolifer then um, why is the cycle still unbroken? Why would it have reset? Maybe it's different if you choose Xenolifer in the end there. I don't know. Well, I guess I click here and see what happens. He goes through it again. Gods will be watching. He saved Gactus 7. It's the decision most people went with. But, um... One third out there are Xenolifer sympathizers, so, um... Now you know, I suppose. Finn. Got some logos here. More logos. And that's the game. I suppose for the end, let's just, um check out those galleries for 6 and 7. I don't have much unlocked here, but we've got concept parts of those pilots we saw in the beginning. This guy also showed up in um, chapter 3 when uh, we got C4 up in that cave. And some more out there. There is Burden with his hay, and Liam on his jet bike, or whatever you would call that. So, that's it for Gods Will Be Watching. If you guys have any um, interesting thoughts on the story yourself that are worth considering, then um, go ahead and comment with them, because there really is a fair amount to say about this game, I think. Anyway, that's it for all of Let's Play Gods Will Be Watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the journey, and that um, even if you did enjoy the journey, you're not stuck in that same loop Burden is rewatching this let's play over and over again unless you want to feel free to but um, I figure some variety is good once in a while too last thing before I leave is to um, just mention that one patreon page I have again if you enjoyed my videos and would like to leave a small tip for each one any amount is appreciated even just like uh, 25 cents or something, then um, that'd be great. And I'd like to keep making videos at this sort of frequency. You can set a monthly contribution limit on Patreon too, so if you don't want to give me more than, I don't know, a dollar a month, that's fine. But uh, yeah, hope to make some more Let's Plays in the very near future maybe even this week, and, um, yeah. Hope you guys are looking forward to whatever's coming next. See you then.